Engineered Arts, situated in Cornwall, bills itself as the UK's leading creator and builder of humanoid entertainment robots, and the machine was presented on YouTube to much fanfare. Want to know more? Watch till the end! Hey people, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll talk about everything you need to know about humanoid robots. But before we start, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Done? Alright, let's get started. Humanoid robots are professional service robots that are designed to move and interact like humans. They add value, like all service robots, by automating duties in a way that saves money and increases productivity. Humanoid robots are a type of professional service robot that are still relatively young. They've long been a pipe dream, but they're finally starting to become commercially viable in a variety of applications. The market for humanoid robots is expected to increase rapidly. The market for humanoid robots is expected to be worth $3.9 billion in 2023 with a remarkable 52.1% compound annual growth rate between 2017 and 2023. Bipedal robots are predicted to expand the quickest CAGR of all humanoid robots during the forecasted time frame. The market for humanoid robots is rapidly expanding, owing to these robots' rapidly developing capabilities and their viability in an ever-widening range of applications. At power plants, humanoid robots are employed for inspection, maintenance, and emergency response to relieve human workers of difficult and risky tasks. Similarly, they're ready to take over astronauts' regular responsibilities in space travel, companionship for the elderly and sick, working as a guide and interacting with customers in the capacity of receptionist and possibly even hosting the growth of human transplant organs are all possibilities. A humanoid robot can automate a wide range of jobs from perilous rescues to caring care. The number of ways in which these robots can be used is growing all the time. And as the underlying technology improves, so will the market. Sophia made her debut in 2016 as a super-intelligent humanoid head with a realist face that could blink, glance from side to side, and speak. Hansen Robots, a Hong Kong-based company, produced a humanoid robot which can converse, smile mischievously, and even make jokes. In October 2017, the robot made history by becoming a legal citizen of Saudi Arabia. Sophia became the world's first robot to be granted formal citizenship as a result of the stunt. Sophia does not yet have consciousness, despite her outstanding powers. Fully sentient machines, according to Hansen Robotics, could appear within a few years. When it comes to artificial intelligence, Sophia herself has stated that the benefits outweigh the drawbacks. Elders will have more company and autistic children will have teachers who are eternally patient, Sophia explained. Engineered Arts, situated in Cornwall, bills itself as the UK's leading creator and builder of humanoid entertainment robots. And the machine was presented on YouTube to much fanfare. Many viewers were astounded by how lifelike and human-like the machine appears. I know we're meant to be afraid of AI, but this is the first gynoid that hasn't worried me, one user said. It's a lot of fun. It's the eyes, added another. People underestimate the importance of eyes in making anything appear alive. The quick movements, the intense focus, the blinking, and the seeming focus on whatever is capturing their attention. At first, I assumed that it was CGI, a third added. Excellent work. The hands, too, appear to be quite beautifully done. Amika has been compared to the NS5 series from Will Smith's 2004 science fiction film, I, Robot, in which sentient robots assume public service positions in a bleak environment. The robot is seen in the video warming up its shoulder before opening its eyes and exhibiting a believable look of surprise or astonishment. It even blinks many times and looks at its robotic arm with interest. Amika extends its hand and admires its combination of mechanical limbs and ligaments, actuators, and sensor arrays at the end of the preview. It's obviously lifelike and cutting edge in terms of expressions, but getting these robots to walk around will be the next obstacle. Engineered Arts stated it's still a long way off, but the faces housed atop a human-like artificial body with a powerful tritium robot operating system, according to the company. Because the robot is still in development, it has not been stated how much it costs to make. Amika is based on Sophia, a super-intelligent human-like head with a lifelike face that could blink, glance from side to side, and talk, 
which first appeared in 2016. Hansen Robots, a Hong Kong-based company, produced a humanoid robot which can converse, smile mischievously, and even make jokes. In 2017, the robot made history by becoming a legal citizen of Saudi Arabia. Engineered Arts expects that Amica will provide a glimpse into the future because it represents the cutting edge of human robotics technology. Amica is the perfect humanoid robot platform for human-robot interaction, according to the company's website. Designed expressively as a platform for development into future robotics technologies, Amica is the perfect humanoid robot platform for human-robot interaction. We concentrate on providing you with cutting-edge technologies that are dependable, modular, upgradable, and simple to build. Engineered Arts was founded in 2005 and its first robot was a stage-ready mechanical thespian. Amica is the world's most advanced human-shaped robot representing the vanguard of human robotics technology, according to the Engineered Arts UK page. Amica is the ideal humanoid robot platform for human-robot interaction, having been designed primarily as a platform for future robotics technology development. A human-like artificial body is required for human-like artificial intelligence AI and AB. Along with our strong Tritium robot operating system, artificial intelligence and machine learning systems can be tested and developed on Amica. The Amica hardware is based on our own humanoid robotics research and is based on our advanced Mesmer technology. Reliability is crucial, and all of our robots are built to last in the real world, not just in the lab. It says, The modular architecture enables for future enhancements to Amica's capabilities, both physically and software-wise, without having to buy a whole new robot. Doesn't this seem a little like a Terminator scenario? Is Amica's idea, however, a technical wonder or simply creepy? The majority of the internet agrees with the second option. Amica is available for purchase or even higher, according to Engineered Arts UK. Is it, however, a Terminator scenario? Amica is currently unable to walk. Not yet, she says. Amica still has a long way to go before she can walk. Walking is a challenging feat for a robot, and despite our research, we have yet to produce a fully functional walking humanoid. However, because Amica is a modular robot, the website notes, we hope to upgrade its capabilities over time so that one day Amica will work. Italian scientists are building a jet-powered humanoid flying robot that might aid in disaster relief and pave the way for the development of flying human exoskeleton suits. This is simply the most recent illustration of what engineers are capable of. Robots are beginning to perform amazing feats such as table tennis, backflips, and mimicking human facial expressions. Iron Cub is attempting to outperform all other robot prototypes currently in development, however, it may be redundant. Robotics is fast progressing with the goal of creating mechanized devices that can do a variety of jobs that people find beneficial or possibly life-threatening. Many tech companies are working on a variety of robots that can accomplish a variety of tasks, but many of them have difficulty walking or climbing stairs. Tests have indicated that humanoid robots, with design based on human anatomy and motions, have the most promise. A robot can navigate a human-centric world more readily if it is equipped with human-like mechanics. Humanoid robots that can wander into risky areas that people can't or shouldn't access are very useful, taking robots a step further. The Dynamic Interaction Control Lab in Italy is working on a humanoid robot that might fly into dangerous situations and disaster zones combining the best of both worlds. Iron Cub, which is powered by a jetpack and outfitted with quad rotors for optimum flight agility, may circumvent destroyed human infrastructure while still maintaining human-like operations once it reaches disaster areas. Furthermore, the robot could potentially move cargo or people to and from disaster regions, reducing the risk that first responders typically take. The project's researchers anticipate that Iron Cub will aid in the development of viable human flying exoskeletons. However, their technology resembles Richard Browning's body controlled jet engine suit, which flew successfully, although Iron Cub is yet to go to the air. Browning stunned the world by setting a world record for the quickest 100 meters in his human jet suit, demonstrating the capabilities of his invention. When Iron Cub and other aerial robots could prevent human harm or death while building flying human suits, it might not be essential because people are making far more progress on the technology and aren't deterred by the risks. It's an exciting moment to be alive, with breakthrough technologies such as artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and robotics progressing rapidly from prototypes to real-world applications. Who knows if Iron Cub will succeed in the real world, 
but the concept shows potential in terms of assisting humans in a variety of tasks. It's thrilling to see how humans are pushing the bounds of technology to achieve new heights. The Dynamic Interaction Control Lab develops robots that help us move from science fiction to reality. With that, we've come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We'll see you again with another video. Until then, bye!